Hi, this is Summer with Summer Tips and Stitches, and this video is about a shopping spree I just did at Joann's. Now, this is the horrible thing. I This all could have been avoided if Dollar Tree had craft sticks. You know, the color popsicle sticks? Because I use those, I put the kids' names on them, and I use them for picking sticks, like to call on kids or to sort groups. And Dollar Tree didn't have any, so I had to go to Joann's and I bought some stuff. But surprisingly, even though there didn't seem to be a lot on sale that I wanted and a lot of things I chose were regular price, I used my teacher code. I used 20% off my full purchase, $10 off of 50 and then I think I had them scan my bar for where they catag where they like, I don't remember what that's called. Well, anyway, they just scan to keep track of your purchases. And the reason I had them do that was because I was almost sure I had like a, like a $5 off. So I will tell you, my grand total was $39 and I had saved 32. So I got 32.44. So I got about 50% off. So now I'm gonna show you everything I bought. And you guys, there's some super fun things in here. Okay, so the first thing I got was these stitch markers that are on clearance. I'm hoping they'll fit on my knitting needles. I like because they're triangle. And when you do Ross's hat, his knitting hat, at one point you need to have like six or so stitch markers on here. And what I like is that, um, this one is green and then I would use the rest as pink or reverse so that I know where's my starting stitch marker. Those were $2.97 on clearance and there's a little plastic case in there for it. Okay, so that's the first thing. Um, I did shop a little bit of the clearance section. Next, I got these vinyl stickers, Wise Teacher. On the back, it shows you what they have. Um, and then also I had gone to Five Below with Maddie and I got this water bottle and I'm going to put these stickers on here. So I had to quick make this video so I could get that done. Um, also I bought this super cute rainbow curtain. Um, I'm going to also, as soon as I put the stickers on, I'm going to make these curtains tonight. Now I'm not an excellent sewer by any means, but what I'm, my plan is, is to to um, make just little valances like at the top. And um, um, here's the width of the fabric. I got a yard and a half. So it's this wide. You see that? I don't know if this will fit my curtain. I didn't measure, or my window, I didn't measure. But I'm gonna try to make four panels out of it. So I'm gonna lay it all out. I'm gonna divide it equally into four. I'm gonna cut it, sew all the way around and then fold over and sew so I have the section to put the bar through. Okay, so I got all this fabric. I know you're supposed to wash it and iron it beforehand, but I don't, I don't like to do all that extra steps. <laughs> all you sewers out there are probably cringing. Okay, so let's see. Oh, this I bought merely as a splurge. This is called Burnat Forever Fleece. Holy cats, is this the softest, silkiest yarn. After you rub your hands and face all over it, your hands still feel smooth. Now this yarn, regular price, was kind of expensive. Let's see here, I'll tell you how much it was. Burnat. I wanna say it was $7.99. Spin Forever Fleece. Oh, it rang up $6.99. Boy, oh boy, is this ever luxurious. I'll tell you about it now, are you ready? This is in the color Rain. And they want you, it's a super bulky, so you're gonna to wanna to use a nine millimeter hook. 100% polyester, oh and look at this, I didn't look very good, there's a knot right here on the outside. 100% polyester, and the number of yards is 194 yards. So, I mean, this will make a couple hats for the second graders. 
If you remember, I make hats for my kids at Christmas, and because this year I went from 17 to 23, and I like to have a couple hats for them to choose from so the last kid doesn't get the last one, I'm gonna have to make 25 hats. Luckily, I'm already at one, two, three, these are the same but different pom-poms, four, and then I have two hats upstairs, four, five, six, so I'm on a roll, people. I'm gonna have these done. And of course, when it's time, get those back in there. I'll give you guys a full video. Okay, um, also since we're talking about hats, I got something new. I had never seen this before and I'm gonna review it. I'm not sure what in the Toledo it's all about. Um, I, it's called Karen Colorama On The Go. Looks like I got the exact same color. Nope, nope, nope. If you can see. Took me a second to see what was different. This one has a gray. Um, so this is, let's find the stats, the deets, if you will. Okay, let's put that one there for now. Um, let's open it up. Where is it? This is, oh, here, down here on the bottom. This is a bulky yarn, a weight five. They want you to use a six millimeter hook, which is interesting because I thought there was a weight six. They want you to use a nine. Anyway, 100% acrylic, 228 yards. And then you scan, wait, you scan this little thing here and you can go get a knitting pattern to make this hat. And do you see, it's, it has this like trail on it. I thought maybe I would try it just to see. Um, and the, the yarn is in this cone. Now it says Colorama Tangle Free Oh, go, quit, start, patent pending, all rights reserved. I'm not really sure why they felt like they had to make their yarn like this. Um, I'm going to open up this package so we can take a look at, because I saw some information here and I was like, what? What's down here? So I wanted to look down here to read this part to you guys. Okay, so it shows you, after you get it, this is what it looks like. Very interesting. The other nub is tucked into it. It's like a toilet ring, kind of. <laughs> um, it shows you how to start working with that yarn. It says, to begin with, oh, go. Locate the end of the yarn. Carefully cut elastic tie. Pull to remove tie. If desired color can be easily separated by getting pulling apart, cutting, or the color transition. Each color is ready to use. Machine wash, wash and water, do not exceed 104 degrees. Do not bleach, tumble dry, low heat. So this is just basically a weird kind of a Karen cake. We moved from skeins of yarn to cakes of yarn, and now we have this weird toilet seat. I shouldn't call it that, but that's exactly what I think it looks like. Now, why did I buy two? Because I thought it would be fun to make a hat out of this. Maybe I can get two hats out of this, three, four, and I just thought it'd be fun to tell you guys about, but they're spendy. Okay, so these Karen K color o -Ramas were $7.99 each. Oh wait, I lied to you guys. This was $10.99. I know. These were not $7.99, and I got two of them. Now, what color? They say this one is overboard. It's mostly blues, cream, blues, and grays. And this one is in the color blue Mustang. Oh, it's very interesting. Oh, I have my, uh, my sign down. Let's get that back up. There we go. Okay, now let's see what else I have in my bag because there's more things in here. Okay, so I'm gonna put a link in my Facebook group. I have a Facebook group called Summer's Tips and Stitches. It's a group, not a page. Uh, there is a Summer Stitches out there. I don't know who she is. Um, so be careful, make sure it's Tips and Stitches. Um, so I'm gonna post in there this cute pattern I saw. Now this started because my sister-in-law sent me a link from Pinterest about making these little pumpkins with yarn. And basically they wanted me to buy these styrofoam pumpkins, you know, like the ones you buy. I think they were $3.99 at Joann's. They're in the shape of a little gourd. 
and basically you cut out the core and then you wrap the yarn all the way around the outside and then you put something in the middle to hold it back in place. And I just looked at those and I'm like, I am not gonna buy a gourd for $3.99. Let's say you wanna have a bowl of them and they're $4, you're gonna buy four of them, that's $16 in gourds alone to wrap them in yarn. So I found a link for how to crochet pumpkins. I'll put the link in my Facebook group and I bought two skeins of yarn that I can make these pumpkins with. And it's a really simple pattern. You essentially crochet a rectangle and then you seam it up the side to join it. And then you go all the way around weaving in and out to tighten it like a drawstring. And then you stuff it. And then you tighten up the top and you put, they want you to put this little cinnamon stick inside of it, which I guess would smell nice. I don't know if I'm gonna do that or not. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna stick in for the pumpkin stem. But anyway, and she has this detailed way that she wants you to go down through the bottom and up around the outside. I'm going to try to make a few of them. I bet this yarn was $6.99's Woolies. I bet I could probably make out of this one $6.99. I bet I could probably make three pumpkins for that $3.99 cost of the other of just those little plastic gourds that I have to wrap up with this yarn. I mean stuffing, but I have an abundance of stuffing right now because I we got a new couch and I kept the couch pillows and I used that stuffing. <laughs> but these, it's not like you're gonna do anything with these pumpkins that it matters that it's old couch stuffing, right? And then the last thing that I have in my bag are the craft sticks that I bought. Um, so all in all, I feel pretty good about getting 50% off. Um, I feel like that was a really good deal. And I'm going to make those pumpkins for my sister-in-law. And so she'll pay me for the cost of the pumpkins. So yeah, the only thing that was kind of a splurge, I guess, was this crazy yarn. But I had to buy it. Now, if you're not interested in buying this yarn, that's fine. But what I'm going to tell you guys to do... You go to, to Michael's or Joann's or wherever you have the local Burnett yarn being sold and just touch this yarn. It, I mean, it feels like shiny, fancy plastic or something. I don't know. And then the way your hand feels afterwards is so soft. I'm, of course, going to make hats out of it. I think I'll have plenty of yarn now for hats for, for my nuggets this year. But yeah, that is my shopping haul. Like I said, after using the Joanne coupons, the 10 off of 50, the 20% off your total purchase, my discount because I'm a teacher, I ended up saving $32.44 and spending 37. So it was pretty close to being 50% off there. Um, and it was amazing. Now I'm going to turn off this video. I'm going to put stickers on my new water bottle and then I'm going to go sew the curtains. The last thing I'll do is I'm going to write my kids' names on these sticks. And then I'm probably going to start working on a hat. Okay, everybody. Thanks for watching and subscribing. Thanks for liking and sharing my video. And until the next video, happy crafting. Bye.